What's going on everybody? We are at camp and there's not really anybody here. There's actually a Boy Scout troop down the way. So, but we're gonna be hot tent camping. I've got the chuck box and I just bought some wood. We're just chilling. We're gonna have a great evening of doing nothing. If you guys remember this or not, but this is my chuck box. This is uh, it's where we keep a lot of our camping stuff in here. I've seen a long time ago, a guy had a uh, chuck box. It was wooden and it looked all cool. And I thought to myself, I really like that thing, but it just really wouldn't work out for me. And I saw another guy that had like a tote one time. And I always thought to myself, I really wanted something that was like compact. And yeah, I think this is going on three years now I've had this. So, and there's, there's the hot tent. We are not using our new hot tent right now because our new hot tent got caught up in Chicago, I believe. Uh, truck broke down and we won't have it now until Monday. So it looks like we will be camping again. Uh, maybe not next week since it's the Thanksgiving holiday. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But we're going to get it out as soon as we possibly can. It's just... We're going to live into our old hot tent. Now, we know the zipper's a little bit weak. And uh, that's just something we're going to have to deal with. Um, so, yeah. Let's get this sucker set up. So, I really hope that the tent that we we bought from Lux is just as easy to set up. Just because the last thing you want to do when you get to camp is fight setting up a tent. <laughs> Especially when it's cold out and you just want to get warm. It's dropped down to about 40 degrees right now and it is going to get colder. So, I welcome it. Okay, so check this out what I just found. Um, so I was pretty sure the zipper was destroyed by you moving this down here. See, it's not working, but, um, I'm kind of an idiot, I think, <laughs> because it's not the whole, it's not the zipper, it's the pull that's messed up. So, look at this. Stays together just fine. I already bought another hot tent. <laughs> oh well, you know what? That just means uh, more adventures. I can probably squeeze this zipper pull together. And I don't know how I even managed... To Oh, I gotta get my leather man. I don't even know how I managed to think the zipper was that messed up. Must have been drinking. I don't know. All right, so we're gonna try to squeeze this uh, zipper pull. Let's see. Wouldn't that be hilarious if I squeezed this and it freaking started working? Usually, all you have to do is just squeeze them this way. Yep. <sighs> Fixed it. I mean, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> but I already bought another tent. <laughs> groovy oh well you know what let's just have some fun right okay i'm gonna put it through you ready Hold up. what did he put his arm through it and scare you all right um does how's the stove look does it need to be pushed back at all oh, it's okay. okay oh boy you know what time it is 
we're gonna light it. So whenever you light your stove up, if you've never done this before, you should always have your uh, your flue pipe for your, for your chimney, you should have that all the way open. And you should have these bad boys all the way open, just give you maximum draw when you're first lighting your stove up. So. I'm only gonna need like half of this little fire starter, so. Because it will take off. Right away. Yep, superb. This is such an excitement. It is an excitement, or it's exciting. Wait, so wait. I'm gonna close the door. Oh, let me clean that off. We wanna look at that, don't we? It'll do you good. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. Full draw. That's right. Well, you can see your breath right now, which is kind of funny. I just lit the stove and it's amazing how warm it already is over here. But it's also amazing on how cool it is outside and you don't really realize it until you light this like nice balmy fire. So it's cool. All right, so we have Tapatio, the ramen noodle. This is the extra spicy. So we're going to try it, and then we're probably going to divide it amongst our other noodles that we're making. But sounds good, and our water's ready to rock. So we're going to, yeah. Please smell it. Yep, smells spicy. <laughs> So we'll just stick this right there and let that yeah. chill. Cool. All right, so we've got some ramen going on over there. We got some other noodles sitting here, rocking out. We've got the other ones waiting. We're almost done with those. We're probably only just gonna film us eating a little bit and then we're gonna end up chilling out. We got a couple books. We've got the Bushcraft 101, Wilderness Survival. And we've also got this other one we're gonna flip through. We've, we've already flipped through them before, but the Bushcraft Field Guide to Trapping, Gathering, and Cooking in the Wild. Tying knots. Yep. <laughs> so, alrighty, well our noodles are almost done and we're gonna eat because we're hungry. Alright, here we go for the first bite. Well, I'm gonna help them out since the noodles are hot and we're eating out of one dish. You ready? Are they spicy? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's check out Keegan. Here we go, Keegan. Here, I'll let you try it. Probably easier for you to do it than me. I thought it'd be easier I'm me helping Dorian. Oh, you got the COVID now. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hot? It's a little bit spicy. A little bit spicy? Let's keep Your the camera rolling. <laughs> Is that hot? No, it's like a jalapeno. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> You 
You got COVID. 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 Holy <laughs> heck, that stuff is spicy. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Wow. It's nice, right? All right. So this, these are beef ramen with the tapatio added to it, right? Let me know how, how it tastes. With the tapatio noodles added to it. Yeah? Yay, nay. Yay. Pretty good. All right, cool, cool. Just kind of fooling around, so. All right, well, I'm gonna let him eat because he's very hungry, apparently. Ooh, I'm worried he's gonna take a bite of me. <laughs> All right, here we go. What is this, Dorian? First bite. First bite, here we go. So what do you think with the two noodles mixed? Well balanced, they're good. Well balanced, he says. Not a big word for him. Well balanced, all right. Spicy and sweet. It's a big word for you. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is about 30 degrees outside. Ah, oh, sun feels good. Boys are over there sleeping. So let me get some wood cut up. And uh they're snug in their bags right now. I let the fire burn down. I'm going to cut up some wood and uh, get some breakfast rocking. The sun's bright. <laughs> mm, it's a beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at that. That right there is a sign of beauty for hot tent campers. Oh, well, we got the park to ourselves. Super nice. And quiet. We enjoy that. The old pick em up truck is right here by us. Yep, love it. Just over here, uh, cutting up some wood for breakfast. And uh, I was thinking about pulling out a stove and just making a real quick cup of tea. Hey, good morning, Keegan. Yeah, well, make sure you hold the tent a little bit together. There you go. It's a little finicky still, but you know what? It's working and that's amazing. <laughs> Did you get warm in there? Yeah. Yeah, it's only 30, like four degrees out here. <laughs> Good morning. Oh. Uh-oh, someone's awake. Hmm. <laughs> We're gonna chop some wood up and uh, make some pancakes, but I'm gonna do a cup of tea over here on my stove oh you can see my neck knife there that's my crkt minimalist i love neck knives i always have in fact if you come over here and look in the chuck box i have my other favorite neck knife that i like to wear which is actually just a more a classic with some paracord on it one of my favorites i'm gonna go pee all right you go pee <laughs> Yeah, I'll give you guys a little rundown on the chuck box um, in a bit. I'm going to visit with my son who just woke up. And that's the whole point of being out here is hanging out with these kiddos. So, oh, I don't want to get on my camera peeing. Not good. So we decided we're going to give this pack stove XL a burn. This is from Simple Theory Gear. Um, numerous times i've tried to get out and use the stove it's just i've had a crazy schedule and i figured i'm out here i've got the stove in the truck actually i had it in the uh, chuck box but um i was doing a bunch of uh, cutting for wood for our wood stove inside the tent i figured you know what i'll cut down some small pieces and we'll just throw it in the stove and we'll get a burn on so i can get a morning cup of tea going so let's take a look at it all right so i cut the wood just in straight air just in small little straight sections and I'm going to take this little cube, a fire starter, and I'm just, I probably don't even need a piece that big. I'm probably just going to use, let's try this little one. And then we'll let that go.
So I put wood underneath the stove here because I don't want to burn um, this picnic table just in case there's any residual heat that's going to come down, which there probably will be. And I don't want to destroy the table. So I also cut the wood so that way it would not be taller or equal to these pot stays because when I put my pot on top, I want airflow in between the wood and my pot, the base of my pot. So check it out. And we'll let that go. So I don't really feel like I'm gonna be feeding this stove since the way I loaded it, but there's that awesome design here on the side, which is actually venting right now. That's cool. I figured at nighttime, that's gonna look really, really cool. Now on the other side of the stove, let's go over there. You can see, there's the feed port. Now ideally, if you were just loading the stove as you go, or if you burnt this all the way down and you were cooking a larger meal, you would be able to continue feeding the stove. So while we're over here and I've got the chuck box, opened up and I'm using it, I'll uh, kind of go over a little bit of stuff that I have going on in it. So first thing, whenever I open up the chuck box, I always use it to hang my pots and uh, pans on it when I'm drying them once they've been washed. That's my washcloth. And then there's our three canteens. That is my, um, my case for my Helicontext mess kit. There's the lid for the mess kit. It's where I keep all of our, usually, um, our silverware and stuff like that. Gloves, my uh, gear roll from uh, Centerline Systems. That's my burrito bag and, of course, my mother system. That's all from Centerline. <laughs> um, of course, I've got a little Tinder pouch here that I use from the Hidden Woodsman. Coming over here, pretty simple. That's where we keep all of our our saws and our knives, firebox, um, skillet kit here, love it. I've also got the cutting board in here. And that closes up, of course I got my ax. There's uh, the two of the cups from the canteen kit, GSI, um, bugaboo skillet, and then our titanium and plates. My mess kit that I use, the boys' mess kits are actually uh, over here because we use those, so they're drying. That's my book. And then I've got first aid kits, one for the system, one if we decide to go hiking, spatulas, my fox light. This is my um, all my tea in my brew, my uh, wood life, my spice kit. And I always put that down usually when I'm at camp just to kind of keep my stuff from attracting all the burrs and grass clippings and stuff like that wherever I may be. Uh, over here I have multi-tool, extra silverware. This is from the Econo Challenge. This is um, my camp chair. Amazing camp chair, I think it's called. When I decide to drink some coffee, I've got a coffee grinder. Um, I've got my windscreen. My pot ripper. And then my tea. I mean, that's kind of really it. I've got my kitchen sink right here with all my other stuff in it. And everything gets loaded in here except for my mother canteen kit and uh, the burrito bag. Ooh, look at that stove. Look at it go. Oh, trash. You got to hang the trash on the outside <laughs> and some extra clothes. So when I close this up, it's compact, it's got a handle, it slides out on it, so. Yep, this is my chuck box. I saw somebody using a chuck box, um, geez, years ago. Uh, well, of course, I mean, I saw them at, in Boy Scouts using them, and uh, they were kind of the big cabinet style chuck box, which I always thought was really cool, little spots specifically for your plates. Um, but that was just too heavy, especially having the boys who were smaller at the time, they wouldn't be able to, to help me move something like that. So we got this because it has wheels 
and now the boys are bigger um, a cabinet style wouldn't be too much of a problem but this works great so we close it up we primarily only use this for like hot tent camping or like car camping so we just close everything up and a lot of my kit um, is stuff that actually goes into my pack too um, I just tend to use a lot of the same pots and pans because I really just love them. That's my favorite kit, of course, along with that skillet or that kettle, that set, that kettle. My favorite skittle, uh, sk skillet, not skittle, is in there. Um, I do have a bigger, larger kit as for like my big Stanley cook pot and stuff like that that I put in there in the winter time. But this is our first hot tent camping. Uh, session i should say of the season so yeah i mean that's just kind of how it goes right now we're really really close we like that there's no snow on the ground yet and it's about 40 degrees so it has warmed up Cheers, guys. Cheers. Is that a good cup of tea? Really good. Mm-hmm. See if we can get in here. Flip this bad boy. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that gem. Mm, smells great. All right, Dorian's going to give us a mini pancake. So go ahead, Dorian. Let's... No, no, you got to tip the, the kettle. <laughs> there you go. Give us a mini. That's as small as you want them. All right. Well, don't put any more on top of it now. Okay, so that's our mini that's going to be our mini pancake right there. Oh boy. <laughs> we, better, we better make a stack of them. Yeah, we're going to have to make a bunch of mini pancakes at this rate. Yep. All right, well. That's going to be the smallest one, though, because I kind of want my mini pancakes to be a little bit bigger than that. <laughs> okay. They're called pancake bikes for a reason. Dorian's micro pancake is coming along. So here's his micro pancake. Yep. We're gonna add a little bit of syrup onto it for him and just let him eat it because that's. Dorian, you gonna do the honors? Okay, here we go. And take your pancake. Me pancake. Well, how is it? Tastes like a pancake. <laughs> of course it does. It's a pan <laughs> it is a pancake. <laughs> Tastes like a pancake. <laughs> well, for the first bite rule, we are just uh, tearing up our bigger pancakes <laughs> that we just made. Took it from your hands. Yeah, that we made. And we're just kind of using our pancakes as finger food because they're really good. And, and Doran's baking some more pancakes for me. And it saves on dishes. And I lost my cooking duties right now because Dorian <laughs> took it over. Sing them Christmas carols because that's how I roll. <laughs> that is. Hey, let's try this, Keegan. Let's do. So we take the pancakes, put the sausage in the pancake. <laughs> the pancake that Dory made, Keegan, fits perfect around the sausage. <laughs> do you want this one since he just made it perfect for you and it's all nice and toasty? 
Okay. So we're just sitting here while Dorian is making. That's a perfect circle. While Dorian's making his breakfast. Well, look at the other one he just made. <laughs> well, the chef gets to show off his first bite too. Go ahead. How's the sandwich? Good. Good. Oh no! Don't forget to flip your pancake <laughs> over there. Oh, it's not ready yet, is it? Nope, not ready yet. I wouldn't flip it yet, dude. Oh, he's flipping. He's going for it. Oh. What? <laughs> Those pancakes are good. They are good. Thanks, Chef Dorian. Mm -hmm. Begin position. I mean, could this be a thing now? Little micro pancake sandwiches? It's like a it's like a sausage pancake tostada. That's what it is. So I guess the best thing about everything like this is if this continues, dad doesn't have to make breakfast in the morning anymore. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I got my monsters to make it for me. And plus, you know, it's all joking aside, it's good for them to learn how to do these things. I mean, they, they've helped, they've watched for years and I think they're getting the grasp of stoves. Good enough. All righty. Well, camp is all cleaned up. It's always bittersweet, and there's everything we we there's everything we came with today. All right, everyone. Well, we are done. Unfortunately, it's a little bittersweet, but that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. Uh, we probably could have hung out at camp all day long, but. Fortunately, we can't but it was a good time. We had a great time We slept in our old hot tent because like I said our other one didn't show up and it wasn't bad at all Of course and we came back to the same spot that we've done every one of our first hot tent camps of the season at so It was kind of like a little trip down memory lane also And then Dorian cooked Dorian and breakfast. his big hair cooked breakfast for us And it was good so Keegan's tired, so we are going to head out of here. Let's get our seatbelts on, guys. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. But more importantly, thanks for coming along and hanging out with us. We'll see you guys later. Bye.